participants. I hope you're all fine. I'm Susan Yangbrook. I've come to you today following our previous communication that uh, this day we'll be conducting documentation of a success story on the project that we all know that is titled Community How to Eliminate Gender-Based Violence Against Women and Girls in Our Communities. We are all aware that this project has been brought to us by MEMPRO and some people call it MEMPRO's project. If you can follow me well right from the time that we've been engaging you people in the various trainings, I've been telling you that we shouldn't call it MEMPRO's project. It's now our project since they have brought it to us and um, we have that capacity to own the project as ours such that when something that you have owned, it will be you and it will be yours and you make sure that you guard it properly. And as life concern, with financial support for mental, we developed uh, effective prevention programs addressing GBV in our communities and we took you people through various trainings in the areas of economic empowerment, sexual reproductive health rights, intergenerational and community dialogue were held. Some of our girls in the communities have been taken through survival skills trainings and so many other areas which I may not be in person to mention to you now because I know there are things that we've been doing and uh, to tell you today it's not my day I've just come to hear from you thank you now the floor goes back to you I'll just expect to hear what has this project impacted on you in your life it might be you as a person or in your family or your neighbors or the general community benefited from you I just want to hear you telling me stories of change. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah. What's your name? I'm called Kayom Sande. Kayom Sande. Yeah. What do you do for a living? I do farming and also train women human rights defenders on digital safety. So you're a trainer on your own? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. good. You've been a beneficiary of men pro programs. Yeah. What exactly did you benefit from men pro? Uh, I benefited a lot from men pro training. Uh, specifically, they trained us on uh, leadership, advocacy, uh, feminism theory, and how we can empower the local people to be uh, audible enough, especially the, the young women, to have voice in their community. I also have exposure visit in in different parts of the countries. Yeah, I was one of the among the team who went to Mozambique for exchange visit to interact with other young women from Ghana, South Africa, and also uh, Uganda. I've noted you're really empowered. So with all this empowerment in the in the form of trainings the way you've enumerated uh, the areas that you were trained in. So what were you supposed to do? So uh, we are supposed to share this knowledge with other rural women within the community. Uh, at the organization work, I used to handle dialogue on human rights issues, looking only the human rights approach based. But since I was trained on gender issues and how you can analyze gender context, we we started to apply gender knowledge in having a dialogue on GBV and other issues concerning women within the community of Zombo, Nebi, and Pakwaj. I'm sure with all these trainings, you had the rural woman at the back of your mind. Yeah. So has the rural woman benefited from this, or the girl child? 
yeah, 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 they benefited at least the uh, people we managed to reach because we believe that when you reach a person, that same person will transfer the knowledge to other people, and that's how we can get a, a great number of people being able to access the information. The few whom we reached, they are able to talk confidently about gender issues and how they can handle such issues like reporting in case they are violated once by their spouse or the people they live around within the community. So how have you how did you do it? Or how were you doing it? Were you organizing seminars? Were you having outreaches? Were you talking to individual women? How were you doing it? Specifically we would handle a, a dialogue at the community or in at school. So through this dialogue we could they we, these women are free to share up their issues they are going through in the, within their community. And after analyzing the issues, the next step we could have a, a dialogue at district level where these same issues are presented to the district stakeholders for their uptake so that uh, these women are helped to cap down the rate of GBV at their household level. Yeah, I know GBV is basically at household level. It's yeah. not a community thing. Yeah. At any one moment, did you have an opportunity to interact maybe on a one-on-one, -on -one, maybe with a family member or a man or a woman, a spouse, about this uh, issue like this? Uh, personally, I did, because GBV starts at even family level, whereby the, the, the people you live in uh, around home, even the neighbors, you might find that you have a neighbor who are chorus and they're always fighting. So like talking to them, seeing way forward, it helps a lot. And even others came with a testimony like, had it not been because of you, uh, you are sharing information with my husband, I wouldn't be like this. Because the, the husbands, they, they think like the only way to discipline a woman is by beating, which is not the case. Do you have this one particular case that you recall during your line, your time of working that uh, you handled, especially in terms of uh, when you talk about GBV, a particular case that probably you handled and it was a success, and you can easily share with us. Okay. Uh, in line to GBV, I remember I had a case of a widow. After after the death of her husband, she okay. The husband had cows, but later the in-laws went and sold all the cows, and they used the money. So she came and reported the case at Life Concern. We handled the dialogue but it was not successful. So we kept following up uh, to where these uh, in-laws are. They came and comply and we recorded their statement, but they denied uh, selling the cow. Later, you were like, if you cannot accept, you are going to take another action against you. And the, uh, the, the in-law accepted. So they agreed that they are going to refund the money through the LC1 of the village. Uh, during the meeting, the LC, the money was paid. That was 90,000, that was the balance, which was left, 90,000. But incidentally, the chairman divided the money with the uh, vice chairperson. The chairperson took uh, 50,000 and the vice took 40,000. So when she reported the case that she didn't receive the balance, we had to follow it up, and from there we called the police station, the police post, the OC police post near Pea. So the man complied, and we wanted to to arrest these uh, two people, but they, they they departed. We kept following. At the end, a sharp person was arrested and produced by the police station. So the money was recovered, and even the other uh, the first sharp person for him he returned his money immediately. So this woman, upon receiving her money, she was really, really, really impressed. And she is extremely happy about the support given to her. I know you may not be in position to avail us uh, uh, data regarding a reduction in uh, maybe JBV or a reduction in the number of girls who are getting pregnant while still at school. Uh, then there's issue of uh, feminism. Uh, in your view, do you really think that the intervention of uh, MenPro, one in training you, 
and in also uh, giving assistance to other community members in to fight the same vices that we're talking about is that was that intervention worth it uh, numbers reducing to a greater extent the the intervention was worth because there are some women who will come openly to say where is my land why only boy child? I also need to go to school. Where is my school fees? So they can now talk freely because they know their rights. Uh, but how I wish this program could continue so that even other women whom we are unable to reach, they can also benefit from this same program. This program targeted a few of you, maybe a few community champion members. How else do you think MenPro can work? to make the program more aggressive in the communities? I would wish MEMPRO to increase the coverage of this program and also include uh, men actively in this program, the positive masculinity so that they are able to also share with fellow men how we can support the move of GBV and to end it completely in our region. Madam, how are you? Good afternoon. What is your name? My name is Adubu Joyce from Arisi Village, Othaco Parish, Paida Sub County. How do you survive here? I'm a peasant farmer. At the same time, I'm a women counselor at Othaco Parish. Hey, how are the rains here? Yeah, it's raining and also shining. And the rains affecting your harvests. Tell me, how did you get involved with MenPro? I became a member of Champion. That was a day. My LC1 chairperson reached me that life concern was calling for some people to go and attend some meeting at the sub county headquarters and I responded. I attended as a representative from my village. When I reached, I want to give thanks to Life Concern because when I joined they started giving us trainings. It was not through life concern. We would not know MEMPRO. God should reward life concern and also MEMPRO. For being in that position of champions, MEMPRO trained us in various ways. They empowered us. I'll start with me. For the time when I was joining the council leadership, I was naive. I didn't know how to speak in the public. If someone is speaking, I just keep quiet with lots of fear. In me. Sometimes I sit like I'm not a counselor. But after Life Concern trained me on my rights, with the help of MEMPRO, they trained me on my rights and how to use it, and they empowered me. And uh, I'm really lively. And as I talk now, I can speak with confidence in the public. And they've taken all my worries that I've been battling in my home, for I was just like a housewife. Sometimes when I'm delayed with the council activities, I go back home with fear of violence that I'll be getting from my husband. And from the knowledge that I got during the trainings, I started with my own family. When I put the issues before my husband and also my children, they are all positive. Just as when we've been in the training, they told us to extend the knowledge to other people. We started talking to girls, for women did not have authority over anything. Men owned almost everything in the households. Most of the children in the different households were not going to school. And with the help that they've been seeing, my husband was extending to me. When I'm not around, he takes care of the children. They started seeing. Some people are saying, maybe my position as a counselor is influencing me to take control over my husband. But because I oriented my family and he was also helping me sensitizing his friends with a different training has brought us some change. 
and we are given chance to go to schools and train the girls and up to now we still visit schools and with the help of MEMPRO most girls who have been impregnated were being helped we want to appreciate MEMPRO they should not abandon us for they came and wiped our tears and if they leave us in this stage for if you're given something sweet to taste you would wish your neighbors also to taste it the help is still needed to us. Yes, I am now a trainer because of MEMPRO. For they told me not to stop with the knowledge in my house alone, but to extend it to other people. For my position being a counselor and also a champion for MEMPRO. I need to teach other people to get the benefits that I already got from the trainings. What did MEMPRO? Pro train you MEMPRO on. together with Life Concern trained us on our rights, children's rights, and how to eliminate GBV in our community. They made me know my rights, and now I talk, I talk like a free person. And I also told my children their rights. That's why I feel free to talk on any issue that can bring development. What did you say your village was? In Arisi, your village, before the intervention of uh, MENPRO, and now that uh, you are empowered, what do you see as a significant change in the community, especially in these three areas? One is uh, the rights of women, children's rights and gender-based violence. Before MEMPRO came in Arisi, we were really in darkness. For there was a lot of alcoholism, no education. GBV issues was really high in our community. But with the knowledge that we got from the trainings organized by MEMPRO, with the few other stakeholders who have been trained, there has been a big change. That's why we are requesting them not to abandon us because cultural issues are not easy to change. But we are requesting them not to stop because there has been a big change. For example, children who are not been schooling, we have taken them for some vocational training. And also women are now empowered to talk on the issues concerning their families. Couples are able to plan together. And also there is food in the households. That's why you see most of the family members with smiling faces. Women are no longer depending on their husband alone. Most families are now having some resources. Do you work with your head high in your village, Arisi, that uh, you've, you've managed? to change the lives of people. Yeah, I work with confidence. One, I opened a group called a Tailoring Group. It's a youth group. It's a group of youth who have dropped out from school and now attending some training. For if I was not enlightened by MEMPRO, I would not reach to this extent of organizing for these youths to get some training. And if you come to Arisi now, it's totally different from how it used to be. For now, households are farming and spouses are having that smiling face. So this shows that MEMPRO has brought in some shame together with life concern. With your work as a champion and the empowerment you got from MEMPRO and life concern, uh, what have you realized is the major cause of gender-based violence in our community? The root cause of GBV was poverty, lack of knowledge, for poverty is not just lack of material things, but it's because one person wants to own everything and living out one side. 
And that was the biggest challenge that brought poverty in households, and that extended to the children. For their mothers are not given chance to make decisions, and for that, no schooling, because the, the family head is owning everything, just focusing on how to pass his leisure time leaving out children. It was just poverty. You know, there are major challenges in the community, but you know that poverty is something that cannot be eradicated within, within a very short period of time. Now, what can we, if we are to we eradicate have? this poverty, we need continuous trainings for the biggest wealth is knowledge. For if a person has knowledge and putting it into practice, and that one enables one to eradicate poverty. For the work is not easy, that's why we are requesting MEMPRO not to leave us at this stage. Is the poverty you're talking about uh, for you the champions? The trainers are also the having the challenges because going to the community is not easy. You're going to them, talk to them. You going along will not be enough. Our request is that they should increase our numbers as champions. Mm, our humble request to MEMPRO is that they should not leave us at this stage for we still need more trainings so that we can really be experts in this move to eliminate GPV in our community. And finally, are you going to continue being a champion? If I want other people to come on board and I get a replacement among them so that I just do the supervisory work. How are you, sir? I'm fine. You're welcome. What's your name? My name is Okesha Alex Olon from Patek Parish. Golos village, Jangokoro sub county. Okay. How is Jangokoro in general? Jangokoro is fine. Tell me, how did you become a member of uh, Mempro? It was two years ago, but I cannot remember the exact dates when we were called. When seven people were invited from the different parishes in our sub-county to go for a meeting. From there, we were oriented. After that, election of two people from each sub-county, and I was one of them. After which, we were invited for a training in Paida at Creamland. That's how I became a member of Champion. How comes you are selected among the seven who the communities had proposed to become a, a, a champion? Why I was elected among the seven people? Before that, I was a cooperative youth. Secondly, and if there are issues, I am one of the person who can speak. And those seven people felt that I can manage the work based on the orientation about MEMPRO. And I also have skills in speaking with um, a fair education background. When you were selected to be among the champions, what skills did MEMPRO impact in you? Thank you for the good question. Ever since we came back from the training, though I told you earlier I was a cooperative person, but I still had some gaps on how to handle my family, especially how to manage resources in the farm. So the benefit that I got from the training is that now I am able to sit down with my family members and plan together. And when we are planning, we make sure that our children are also involved in the planning for the future. 
One other thing is involving Yatina taking a weary or Banatina shell put your bora. Mighty is home. Pity take a kitty pin and a page of paropare. So, what take a planning car shell shallow family? Mukende, Paul Carre, Morango, Grango, Ponji and Go. Then shall teach my deed a kid to Daco Begate Moreor. So, Nishaki, a Ponji Asia, Kawoni, Wapoku, Tisha Poka or Timuti. Saza Karashiel, Macharango, Neglapur, Aplapur, Kanyunga Muler. Daco, I knew by Yubulela, Enango do Materu, Gigin, Yukilea Gilum, was she the Podu, Nokashi on Yogoi Podugu, Enangonia Tin, the Mogunu de Kondako, Daco Kanyu Yen Guyo Yen Guye, so any Gidia do Tigma, Moku Yen Gashoga Ayogi An, Akawa Bubu, Omako, Daco Marum, Kado Konti, and Jum Guru. Dagma room, Marcus, which is a jedu, is a good teacher, what take a sharing, Moko Bugu Pia conjugira, Mamudum, Dakosaku process per tedu. Umura Garega get away in Pudashu Bukatira Regu Chilka Wun, teach what Poko don't a poker team teach Carasheli or Goshalamaga and teach my pegs or Bericor Daco, in Uberubero, my member, and make a shell any. A Pujima room, Manangi Bang Mempro, who come on me, retreat the swing, could have had a manana Bericu Gishon. Shoko Shalwa Goyoka, the given Abu Kumidi, but a meal with the Ponji Asia. A shaki, Jumugo Rogani, a shallow veya. A be senator as any Yoga Benuaro Ganuara, Yoka Kit with your Daku for your voya or NK Moth Mote, Jumugo Shaka, Mugira, Wogima Bermania, Caravi, Lema Beruka Washuji, Telema Berete, Kila Loka Loka or Migide. A Jumuka Pui, the Dita Shiel, my Ebedu. Sana can be treating Daco Pare, Punya team, ma neglecting him totally. I wish you could have one Maromo, Angario, and Yang Kudango in a Kukiru Manwangi Bank, Mempro, a reporting in the office for police through CDO. So eating a CDO that we're engaging on, what she do, the Pashi Bank, the Grong Asia, what she will wish you could have, so Jimmy Yokari, me and Gario, a Beruka Mundering in a local local Makaja Birumbe. Police can be no market, who can do Terry here, finding a way to go to a daro and Bashaki, the police. So in Saku Asia, a local local tea or party. Kawa Gimanango, Rabolo Gimanang, you go Daku to me for the Migi, so in Saku Asia, a gone opinion of Guinea Daku, in Ugibedu, and Bashel Mamangi Bang Mempro, a Lemukende, a petition to go Lemukende, Lampa did not turn the banging on it. Ah, Lampa the Rungini. We go to Shibanga, Karema, a very good at Mugi descend like a kiddy. A shako can in you see Ponjimoka, the Godebang Mempro, Ka Aradashi and Mutti, Gerani by the detail, Shakoni Gonira, Chitamaja Gunga, where you can be sweeting go family party. Kaoga Mukito, and one on your agent Karemo, Makaka wish good your detail, the Mukita Binang Mio Lempire. Ponjipa Mempro Marum, Binu Konya, Lemoko, Maraja Binu Timere send like a kiddy. Ah, nyatin moku nyatin ya kumoku me urupa de tia para ngwen. Jawode ubinu bide gishido kude kana nuto kwa mpira. So yuri nge kare mami nunge yungo yuri nge kare. Jawode maro mesha. Jawode mu bide nuko ambino lo areni shi omoku yisenda kake ni ma jal Asia ugamu uma kunyatin Asia. Ame ma ke washa kuni lobo tien lembe Asia. Walobo kumi ingi karashiel tien lembe ne ubinu yijuru ruonde dom. So kama washa kalo bo tien lembe juri bang LC. Kama lembe chati mire kama namo shabu yee. Ah, jala ubi shabu ni atirma uayori atiak sub county. Gubinu welo kake ni ni. Watimu kero paka washi wa ma ko jala ubi Asia. Kodi atiak kuja Asia. Koko njum pa police. Is for reporting lembe ni police. Ni police ukoni migi kuni akashi elmu binulu oresha wati migi watero wachi doshi diati akuja gama maku jala ubi jaka rashi lugu niyako sha watero gi iye eni de niyako ne podi case bari wabu wata wata wili lembe ne gi tia paida eh eni gi beri lembe manuangi bang mempro amokende kukiru manuangi bang and maso kodi manuangi ah kawodi ati e ashi elikin komiti pada na bungu eni pari che ni majulungi shial protection komiti ma. Jimmy plan dong. Obetimu betiu kugere. Ati de shapa so migi an. 
But he bedu cheke ku kiru mamangi bang member to go eleven the old relationship. Kulema mamangi bang member ku piru ma bedu kami ku konya ra do ku dano ma pol kulema timu ku kedu sa ma jube kami ku dano we shagi abedu ngati mira shiel madung luongo la luonga ah yoringe kendo ati e kendo shiel ki activist jumu gi sasa activist ma jumu luthari world federation ubu ku tiyo kodwa but yoringe luthari jido gi wok asu plano gamu taking over. So teja take in Dano a bear mutes up gang in Jango Gorwen, a teja a gold make the hand. Eh, when you give bear among a bang, man fruit. Eh, Dog Jango Ren in any here in Jango Kuru. Any Lua Kenny in any shalom. Ah, Lua Mijango Kuru de Ginena Chalon, a thin migi and gere, a thin mute, dear Moku, cum lambe me. Think him a take a caro caro mogogiti pasho. Asaga mumuluko mawia, lwa gine ya donga tini mingati mbukuma ashungi kumu. Le mako meja gi. Tegele mbuku kadi paashu. Ishi an everyday which needs my attention. So they know me that. Tegele mbuku kadi paashu. 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 Angi oni ya ponji mu, di ponji kwa koro ikom le majulu oni ya gender based violence. Manangi kwa koro di ponji le ikom le mda ikom tayari fadi na mebu. Girl, child, and other children. Here in Jango Koro. Kamiti nyoke Jango Koro zao le mene tini yani diki mtaju. Jango Koro. Jango Koro as we see it now. And when I had no ideas on how to eliminate gender based violence, okay, sexual gender based violence, the Marshi Danwang, Bang Mempro, the Beru Jita Kesha, Asaga, Nigi Center, Makem to the Mutage and Gokuruini, La Pur Mashik, Asaga Kamati, Center Moy Konga Kemi, Pinion Beru Dit, Mitu Dungo, a Beru. I was one of the Sometimes when we are passing, we are passing. 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 We are o kal mo amote anda vazi pa kebo o wesho ko kal ko religious leaders tege misalamo gi bi o kare they gave us an opportunity to this energy to most gi man please ya gi wa nyutu tege ne leme ni giti magiti mi dano ma ko tushi bango gi opio do gre kan o wotu ko mai jo ngeyo ni aya e do ngute jara ko nyu ga muketu ara do ni gi ko lembo katembe ni gi gitemo ni juwi ka woni Kadi bende kichwe kongo zao mazao enkere eko shiko manu angu kodi nyo wabedo mbe kungi echa agi. Angi onia tish. I know working in the community is not the simple thing. Man kukurishi fukabe kulembe ye le. Nyo kinleme ni mwaka shela reo mwaka kuma inu angu ni agi ketu tish eni baku nyo tek teke tiyo. Kukuru tish ma. Please when you're doing something. Mashiru mwaka kibi bedu nuti. Chalo kum kudama pole ba titu yuno mashiru de gibe rumiru nuti ni aria de mo kwa shiel kinde mashaka shaka dano gibe ru ni shaya de pole garaji waje ya je jalma da ko voyo yote so eni gibe mo beru ti a ti nenge o de beru ti mani miri e beru ti mimi miri ma ingi dano mo tuagi ni o pole mo mani ya kanwa ngi shokolo a nyo elifa shi elifa rio mokono jo ya geko de oke to asha kine sa moja ga cha ka danu gibe ka binu ngwa kesha ka mobe ka rombi egi do ngiri ngere ko abu gi palembe gi kule marungu ruga timere gi ugamu ke to danu ruga ngewe karave na ate chebe konyo inu gibe ru challenge challenge ne ma dit u beru kare monyo wa mangu ponje ja gi wa mi yo paru monyo mangu ma konyo Punji jadi gobo di bejulu makare kokare jari beja puyu kudu yuwa esare udugu berombe dogeri dongi ini bayi tenge bayi mempu kaji mempro dulu mwangu ni shield marungu beru katenti bijari kumeni samogi goyusi mwangu wechukugiri yusi mwangu kumeni 
in give the challenge no more card be in but challenge ma polo be do maina ma dino be do mala goni mi rachelo ma ji ko de ya no ide dal ma do da ko pare vo e or le me chebo ka te bon be di en gere kilo gine na do gi es mon mo ta bina nyuti ga wa so ne mi sha ko ma ai po nje di ta woni e be do pe ngara planning ga rachelo ko ta go ma da fala be gero or e ni gine ma kan ma nga ma ngo po nje ba me pro in le ma timo ko ta be do ka nyo to send gi so en kere ko ponji de gi keta nyang ki to makiti ko do sente sende ji nyota nyota ngo ke so en loko ko par go ma da fale ko ne agero wolu ni do oru menu maka aburu ya dok pare o par gi am gi ne no nya kare ba loka loka ti pin para de ti ari pa e podu e si an de be pare ka be si an o pe e ja gi be do par mo mi o ka da sheli o dan mo pol di ni girani para gi jaga ni neno ta mu ke to loko ko mi ga sagam le ma foi ko membro ma di a je buka poisa ma be di ponji ko pai dai sade abina go no testimony moko pa je fo jal molu bu ngeya be ru je reu ma sendu mon tu gudu dugo el bu ngeya ko woni ga mon ma romdo nga bish sendu mon but has so far married five different women kare mo go bino ha re ma go bino dan je di ju ke to go el at least bater daru ma go mesha gi di ti gi shi di ponji fe ni ma go mesha ka di daru ni da de ma je buka loko baro mi ki bata fo yo ni asa ma sha ka wesho ko de ka wondo gi ti seto i or pare alors alors ka do benne so ñu tane ya ponji e jaga muketu alors ko paro ba jal fo yesha en le ma fo yo me pro ma din mani sago eh i do ngi tie community champion do ngi jiki ko miyani i pa do men protein muti mo ramu ah teach ma men pro ko jo men pro mi ki wa ka woni o dar do o dar yo o bini ya dek baronia pour une membre cachée pour les membres ma comme elle écoutis à sous pour ce wendo de nyano kaine no jango ko rene lâche pour je vous dache le tepa de anika ka indi nga dache ni mal ici on gambeja so wa chopo ngoka waro mo jango ko rene zongo do nga paro ma cachée pour les membres gi gimer écoutis migi gi medo wenda no moko iko moi pe caro wa chopo ka meroni timu tis baro meni na no nga atlis wa attack on paris is muti jango ko reno gizo um ko da paro ni amen pro ma ko ka mer regutis ah ga mo mer wen champion mo mer ko mo e because wen wen ya no paro paro ah mo kende le mo wa ju ko do men pro ma ko bo mer resu wo ngeyo attitude padano ma tuwa gi ko mind set padano we no gi asage ko paro ma niya kai beti mo lembo ko ko mer gi jo wajo nyo or peri nyo ke dako pe ru vo wi aparo ni aya within paris moire aloko ma pol en gere pour gi dar dengo de don ke tawo ko paro ma ni a men pro mer dano mo ko ju medi karo wanen wo tako le jango ko ru eni gi zo ma karo binu ke li aloko aloko ma dano eni gi gi chobo ko gi paro ma ber ma chobo ka dongo ko du or mi gi kara chelo ko jango ko ru mo eni madam The prison is actually very busy. Yeah, in a day, you can receive many, many things. By six, which which yeah. which six will come see your services more? Yeah. The women, one and the men. Why do you think so? Women and children. Why? As much as I can say, but I think men can just endure the same. But with women, you know. Hey, like, they they just to so tell me um how did you get involved with uh member by becoming a member of the member of the company I became the champion of change after having been invited by the life concert I remember I was being 
part of the earth is also integrate with EPD. We cancel that. Uh, is it for Spain? Do you see there's a reduction in the standards? Also, issues of women understanding their rights, women are now getting better. It is much important compared to the past. It is much important because in the past, before even uh, the sensitization, people were not doing enough of this. But now, with the sensitization, and counseling, people are just okay. Do you receive many cases of gender based violence issues coming to the health center? Are there many cases? In your view, when does gender based violence become an issue? Gender based violence in the health center becomes an issue when the client has what is called a previous, previous harm. Because there are some types of harm. Now the previous one there, where the person has got something, also you physically you see that the person has you know, Now it's maybe, maybe as not the two, maybe as not part of, maybe as the broken arm or the legs over the fracture. That one, if the person has come, that one will take it serious as a health work. Because now if you don't take it serious, now things will be There is what is called the harm and the previous harm. So now if it is previous, that one now will take it serious. So most of the cases you get are not done. There are simple photos within the home which should be understood. For example, we can understand. Yeah. Now, if you will come to them and that one, they are Now, if somebody sees that now you have come to her and that thing will also lead into dive of the person who gets a bundle, you see, meaning everyone loves the So, do you think mentor has done enough? Mentor. According to me, because it has still a lot of lessons. Of course, we didn't even have more knowledge about the GPG. Now, even they have trained us, even within the health facility, we have a big register of even recording the GPG. Then we do our council, we just bring them together. We do a lot of things within the facility. So you think this work can continue or never can now stop? No, it has to continue. In fact, it has to continue. Even we can train people up to even commit their thing, gender based violence may even end. How about issue of rights? Madam, how are you? What's your name? I'm called Masendi Jennifer, parish chief of Kaya Parish, by the South County. How did you become a parish chief? It is a long story to become a parish chief. Before that, I was working with the main group. After that, at this, I got some experience through working with the main group. Time came, we were working in the community. I became even popular to the community. After that, I found that I contested as a district woman councillor. For this account? Yes. By this account? And I went to Then after that, I had to change my mind. Whether I advertise as a district, I tried to apply it because I wanted to be somewhere. After, after taking that application, we went for interview and I went through. Now they have posted me in the county as a parish chief of Kaya Parish. As a parish chief, we have a lot of work to do and we do with the community. Most of our work is within the community. 
so before you became a party, what were you doing uh, apart from the before that, I was a champion with a mentor. I was in a balance of cars. That's my reason. Yeah, I was in there. Yes. So tell me about uh, your work as a champion. What is that called? Yeah, actually, we went a lot of training with the mentor. They gave us training on gender issues and the rights of girls. So we were moving uh, to those schools. We were giving those training to those girls and asking them the challenges they are facing. Maybe when those teachers move, some teachers are also uh, very rude with the girls. Eh? Why do they see those beautiful girls who they try to at least to engage in love with those girls? So when a member gave us that training, at least I was empowered to go to the community, to talk to those women, to organize the women group, the Shodin group. So, in fact, we were talking to many people. I became even popular. And after that, one time came, I, I contested. After contesting, as a counselor, as a counselor, I contested. After that, due to that empowerment and that encourage I got during that training and when we went to the community, I was able to talk to the community. It gave me free room at least to campaign also when I contested and some district. How did you become a champion of change? How I became a champion of I could not even remember that day, but when Hans Kostan came at Hansam County, he sent that message to the LC1. You know, LC1 is also there doing a lot of work in the village. So, being known in that village, my LC1 called me and said, hey, there's some program at the sub county. First, go and attend that program. So, immediately, I did not ignore that, I had to go. So when I went there, at least I got that opportunity and the chance of joining the member. So how do you feel as being a champion? Actually, I feel so good because uh, it has opened way for me. Before that, I was just doing that at home. But uh, when I joined MEMPRO, at least uh, I became explorer to the community. People started knowing me, at least I started expressing myself, and even my level of education I was telling the community. So I feel so good. Even now, as I'm working as a parish chief, it has encouraged me. Now, work in the community is not a, something so difficult to me. Though there might be some difficulties, but at least I take it easy because I am able now to talk to the community. Is gender-based violence still a problem in your community? Not so much because uh, by the time we were giving those uh, training to the community, there was one day whereby it was a man who is younger than an old woman. That man tried at least to rape that woman. After that, the, that woman came and reported to us as a champion because we were working as a team. When they reported, we wrote a statement, but uh, that man tried to misbehave. After that, since we were not having a force eh, that can uh, help us, we have to take that issue. From there, police tried to handle, but still the man insisted, and they brought the man to court. But, uh, because we were now the evidence, because we have that that, uh, that statement. So you think it is because of your intervention in the community that the levels of uh, domestic violence has gone down? Yeah, because of the action we took. 
others learn from that. Once if you do this, they will take you direct to court. So people were fearing when you took that act of taking that man to police. After that, we went with the man up to court. Yeah, he had to pay a fine. Now people were fearing that fine. As a champion of change, what have you realized is the major cause of gender-based violence? Yeah, in my community, the major cause of gender-based violence is the power imbalance among men and women. How? Oh. Yeah, because in our community, men try to overpower women. They don't consider women to be powerful like them. And yet women also have that power in them. We can do something, we can own this and this. So when they, when they see that they, they, okay, actually they try to ignore women in the community, that women is like the only resource. And yet they are not. They are able, they are capable of doing even other things. Me as a woman, myself, I was encouraged that I could do something in the community. And after that, you were also telling those women they should not just sit and relax. They have that power and ability to do things in the community. Once, if they are being disturbed by these men, we have the law also there, which can help them. So they should not just sit that uh, for me, I'm a woman, I cannot do anything. But at least we are encouraging them to do other things. So they were also impressed and they were telling us that we should not just stop going to them, we should continue going to them and give them that encouragement so that they can be also somewhere. Are you still a champion? Yes, I'm a champion because I'm working with the community and the same, the same work I've been doing before becoming a partnership. That means I'm still a champion because I'm talking to them. But now you said there is no more gender-based violence in your community. So what else are you doing with the women? Actually, other thing I'm doing with the women, at least I'm encouraging them to form a group, to be in a group. And they should not just sit at home and relax and wait for the man, for those men. Eh? to bring for them to them also to work. If maybe they are capable of joining even leadership, let them also contest. Like me. When I took that courage and contested, they should also get that encouragement and uh, become even even the village leadership. Yeah, they can able to do. They should not just sit and uh, Maybe hear that force of men forcing them that my woman cannot become like this and this and this. No. But at least a man can do Okay. Um, I know during the course of your work you've met me some challenges. Is yes. it easy? Is it easy to talk to men and also to encourage women to get empowered like like you? There are challenges, you know, working with the community is not also easy. Working with the community is something that you need to tolerate. You need to be tolerant when working with the community. First of all, you will get even insults in the community, especially those men. They don't want to hear. When you go in the community and you are talking to them, when they are together, they don't feel like sitting together with you. So that is the challenge uh, I've been also facing. But up to now, even I'm facing it. Though I'm facing it, but I'm not discouraged from talking to those women. So do you talk to women separately and men also? Or sometimes you talk to the community in general? Yeah, sometimes uh, when we go to the village meeting, we have to combine them all together. They have to 
we have to call all men and women to talk to them. So do you think we still need champions of change or yeah uh, according to me we still need more at least uh, Why? to balance the work in the community. You know those communities they need a lot of good mentorship and a lot of training. At least we need to talk to them. Now you find that when maybe I'm alone, it becomes even different. That's why I'm saying we need more champions. So what other issues are still there that you think champions of change must handle in the community, especially in your community? In my community? Actually, in my community, I see that the, the right to girls' child education is still a challenge to us because of rampant prisoners. Those girls, they are getting pregnant That's why I think we need to be able to talk to those girls. Because when we are few, we cannot talk to them. And when you are working as a team, at least we could go even to those schools and talk to them. We encourage them. Not at least to engage themselves into early pregnancy, early marriage. So that is the challenge we are still getting in the community. But uh, for gender-based violence, since we are encouraging both men and women to work, but that one is not from us. The only challenge we are getting is early pregnancy. So what strategy did you have to ensure that uh, the girl child goes to school? Yeah, at least we are encouraging those mothers encourage those girls to school. They should not just leave those girls to stay at home. Actually, they should send them to school. The pregnant one? No. Mm. Not the pregnant one. Okay. But um, the pregnant one, we are encouraging them, at least after birth, they still have chance to go back to school. And uh, they should talk to those girls. How are you? Good afternoon. What's your name? I'm called Ongera Juliet. Where do you stay? From Paida Sub County. Okay, is this where you live? What's your source of survival? I'm a peasant farmer. How is your home? My home is fine. How did you get involved in this program of the champions? I started with life concern when I had some issues disturbing me. At that time when I was really disturbed in my marriage, I was really in a tough situation. Nothing was good on my side. When the condition was really worsened, no help, everything was just hard. With the help from Life Concern, they helped me to go to Action Aids office. Their help was extended to me. Before going to Action Aid's office, we were trained for three days by MEMPRO. Despite the training, the issue was persisting. Due to continuous training that I've been engaged with, my knowledge started increasing. Before the training, I knew nothing. I was neglected by my husband, no proper help extended to my children, my children could not go to school, even a mere feeding was a big problem, but with the help of MEMPRO, when I joined, they started training us with various skills, he was around, right in his hand, 
when these people started bringing us the trainings, I became encouraged. Personally, I started experiencing positive changes after which there was a training where my husband was also invited, but still he could not leave his bad attitude until he was summoned by Action Aid. From there, the Action Aid engaged him in a dialogue and um, he was rebuked. And this answers your question of how I became a community champion. After the engagement, the matter was resolved successfully. After that, I started accessing, for example, the land and other resources that he denied me before, and children started going back to school. Was he doing this deliberately? Yeah, he was doing it deliberately, for we were two as his wives. Was he simply despising you? What did Menpro teach you? One thing that I'm proud of that I got from the training was how to reconcile conflicts, especially on GBV. Okay, one other benefit that I got from the training was uh, knowing my rights to own properties in my home. For that one helped me to solve the issues in my marital home. And also, I took an initiative to take my children back to school. And right now, as I talk, one child completed senior four, another one completed senior two, and is still continuing with her studies. And also, my husband realized that he was doing wrong. Now we equally share school fees. Also, we've been empowered to move into communities to solve GBV issues. Yes, as we've been trained on how to handle certain issues. school. We also moved to schools to talk to the girls in school. And right now, as I talk, if school opens, I'll move to schools and talk to teachers, pupils, in any places that I get them. It's just like preaching our gospel. All this was because of me. With this training that you got from MenPro and the kind of experience that you've shared with us in regard to your own family, do you think your training is helping the community where you are? In most cases, uh, we meet with the people in the community during group meetings. The rate of GBV in my community has reduced, but still in the neighboring villages, the situation is still alarming, but we still extend our help to them. At first, I was a councillor, women affairs. Later on, I became the area councillor and women councillor, Kaya Parish. And now I am retired, and I'm retiring as community champion. I'm free to work in any place. How about the education of the children, especially the girl child? As you're aware, the government and the communities are all concerned about uh, early pregnancies that is ongoing. There are cases of teenage pregnancy was so alarming, especially last year. As I talk now, one was my own daughter and another one for Michael. But this year, the case is it is not so much. If school opens, we do move to schools to talk to senior women teachers and other teachers concerning the status of our girls. We do request them during their meetings. At least they should be inviting us. So that we help those girls. Because even us, when we are still in school, we used to be helped by other people. 
for every experience that you had in your life, you need to extend it to some other person so that the person can also be fine. I know that working with the communities is not a simple thing. How are you managing? Yeah, there are challenges. And sometimes back, we found it a challenge. We table it before our leaders and we told them it's not easy to move in the community. What will tell the community that we are their representatives will be the uniform for easy identification. Secondly, when we are there in the community, we do meet people with different attitudes. For some are positive, others are negative. Another challenge is on transport issue. Some places are hard to reach, but we are requesting MEMPRO to work hand in hand with us, if possible, so that our work is extended